Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Juan, I'm a yarn addict, hence the name Juan the Yarn Addict, and I want to thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by to check out my video today. This is a yarn and crochet channel where we talk about all things yarn and all things crochet, so if that interests you, please sit back and watch today's video because today is another episode of Spin the Wheel for a Beanie. Here it is. So if you're happening across my channel for the very first time, welcome. This is a series that I rolled out a little while ago and I've gotten a great response to it. What it is is we create projects using the spin wheel. The spin wheel will dictate a pattern for us. It'll dictate all the things. And then I take all of that information and I create a beanie with it. And of course, I add a tutorial onto this video. Feel free to follow along or feel free to watch Listen to me talk while I go through all the things. Um, possibly put it on your to-do list if you really like how this comes out to be. As of right now, I have no idea what we're going to create. This wheel will literally tell us what we are going to create. So it could either be a masterpiece or it could be a complete fail. But in either case, I'm here, I'm ready for the challenge. And I hope this is as entertaining for you as it is for me. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into it. I'm going to take the camera. I'm going to put it onto uh, the table here in tutorial mode. And we're going to go through all of the steps here. I'm going to break down the wheel for you. And we'll talk about all the things. So I'll see you on the other side. Okay, friends. So here is the wheel. I have you guys over the table. And... This here is just a breakdown of what all this means. So here we have symbols that will dictate what stitches are what. I'll break that down in a second. And then of course you're seeing dots around the wheel here. So uh, first I guess I'll discuss the dots. The dots that you're looking at basically will tell us how many rows of a pattern we're going to create. So today I have uh, three dots and four dots in every other one. So three, four, three, four, and it goes all the way around the wheel that way. Um, so one thing is for sure, we're either going to have a three row pattern or a four row pattern. So first we'll spin the wheel to figure out um, which is which, like what, what project are we working on? Are we going to do a pattern with three rows? Or are we gonna do a pattern with four rows? Um, so that's what that is. And after we spin the wheel for that, then we're going to spin the wheel um, equivalent to how many dots there are. So for instance, if we lend on a four dot pie slice here, that means we're going to spin the wheel four times. And uh, whatever it lands on, on those four times, is what our stitches are going to be. So let me just break down the stitches here. So this here is... Uh, a single crochet the next one is a double crochet this one here is a half double crochet this here is a new one that I'm putting on the wheel here to so just to keep it interesting so this here is a recycle sign so let's say we land on this we can either reuse something we've already landed on or we can spin the wheel again if we don't really care for what we landed on. So it gives us a little bit of uh, fair play here. So um, this next one here is a half double cluster. This next one here is a front post double crochet. This here is a back post double crochet. And then it repeats back to a single crochet. So I have everything doubled up here. Uh, just to not overcomplicate the situation, okay? So, without further ado, let's go ahead and figure out uh, whether or not we're going to do a three-pattern project or a four-pattern project. Uh, so, okay, let's go ahead and spin the wheel here. Okay, so we are going to be doing a four... Uh, four row pattern situation. Okay. All right. So let me get pen and paper and we're going to go ahead and spin the wheel four times and whatever it lands on is what our project is going to be. So hopefully it lands on something quite nice. <laughs> All right. 
right, so here goes nothing. All right, so we have a back post double crochet. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that down. Back post double, okay. Let's spin a second time here. Okay, this is a half double crochet. Okay, half double crochet. Let's spin a third time. Okay, this is a back post double crochet. Back post double. All right, now because we have back post double twice, I'm kind of hoping we land on this purple pie slice here. Um, Cause I'd like to be able to do something else other than another back post double. So let's see what it turns out to be. Ah, <laughs> what are the chances? <laughs> that is so cool. Okay. so. Um, we have the recycle button, so I'm going to um, erase, I'm going to erase the back post double crochet, and we're going to replace it with something else. So I'm going to spin the wheel for our third stitch, okay? Okay, a front post double crochet. All right. That beats having another back post double. Front post double. Okay. So far we have back post double crochet, half double crochet, and then a front post double crochet. So hopefully we get something else. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, a single crochet. Okay, so back post double, a half double crochet, a front post double crochet, and a single. Okay, so now that we have the stitches, I'm going to place you guys on a brief pause and get everything set up for, for our tutorial. Okay? Hey friends, so before we jump into the tutorial, I just thought that maybe I could show you what the finished product actually looks like before we get into the tutorial. Um, I actually did two of them. The one that you're going to see first is the finished product of what you're about to see. So the yarn that I used in the tutorial is this. It's uh, loops and threads um, in the colorway charcoal. This is the finished product of what you're about to see, thanks to video editing. Um, so I did a ribbed crown, and then these are literally the stitches so nice but because of the name of this beanie i figured it was only fitting that i use a crazy yarn so <laughs> so i used the red heart granny square all in one and yeah so let me go ahead and try it on So even though, like, you'll hear me mention it in the video. So even though, like, when you're, you know, playing with it like this, when it's all done, it looks kind of flat. When you go to put it on, there's nothing flat about the top. It actually fits very, very nice. I actually like this. <laughs> so the colorway is Black Moody Cherry. And... Instead of granny squares, I'm finding other uses for this yarn. So Collision Course is the name of this beanie. Because it's like all kinds of crazy stitches running into each other like this. You have front posts, you have back posts, you have half doubles and singles. And the way that it's laid out, it's like it runs into each other. So Collision Course... Um, is how I came up with the name. And I actually came up with the name while I was making this. So 
Again, thanks to video editing. Um, I'm inserting myself before the tutorial because I wanted you to see the finished product to see if this was actually something that you wanted to sit and make. Or, you know, um, if your um, interest was peaked to the point where you wondered, what does it look like? So, yeah, so here's a muted down version of the stitches. And here is the not so muted down version. <laughs> I love it. It's, I mean, I don't know. I would recommend doing one in like a muted down color, you know, just something plain to wear whatever, you know, anytime. And then if you want to feel crazy every now and then, you know, pick a yarn that's out there. <laughs> a variegated yarn, an ombre yarn, you know, it goes with the name Collision Course. So, okay. Um, I guess that's it. So I'll let you guys get back into the tutorial and enjoy. Okay, friends. So for our beanie today, I'm going to be using a medium four weight yarn. Uh, the colorway here is charcoal. This is from Loops and Threads. And to start, what, we're, what we want to do is create a slip knot on our hook. However you do that is fine so long as the end result is this. And so from here we need to chain four. So one, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna take the tip of our crochet hook and go into the first chain, draw up a loop, and slip to close. And you'll notice we'll have a circle here. You can do a magic circle if you want. I don't care to do that. I prefer this actually. Um, and so from here, what you want to do is chain two, and then you want to do 12 double crochets in the circle. One, two, three. So continue doing that until you have 12 double crochets around your circle, and I'll see you at the end of round one. Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round one, and what we need to do is close. So in order to close round one, we take the tip of our crochet hook and insert it into the very first double crochet of the round, draw up a loop, and slip to close, just like that. So now what we need to do is chain one to start round two. So we're gonna do a uh, ribbed crown for this beanie. So to start, what we need to do is a double crochet back into the same stitch we just came out of. So double crochet right into there, just like that. And then we're gonna do a front post, but what we need to do is go around the chain one, or I'm sorry, the chain two and the double crochet. So. It kind of looks like a, a double stitch situation happening, but it's not. So you're going to uh, yarn over and go around both just like that. Drop a loop. Yarn over and go through two. Yarn over and go through two, just like that. And then you're going to do a regular double crochet in the next stitch. Right here. And then a front post double crochet right in front of it. And that's literally the repeat for round two. So if you notice, the thickness of the front post tends to cover the next stitch. Just You can move that out of the way just so that you don't miss it there. So you're going to do a double crochet and then a front post on every stitch in, in this round. So you're going to see there's like this... Uh, ribbing effect starting okay so we're going to do a double crochet up top and then a front post right in front of it just like that every stitch single crochet and then a front post double crochet okay so you're going to want 24 total stitches for round two i'll meet you right here at the end of round two okay Okay, so here we are at the end of round two. We have 24 total stitches in this round. 
12 of them are front post double crochets and 12 of them are regular double crochets okay so to close off round two what we need to do is insert the tip of our crochet hook into the top of the very first stitch of the round just like that we're going to drop a loop and slip to close okay so for round three what we need is 36 stitches for the round we're going to chain one and then we're going to go into the stitch we just came out of with a double crochet and then we're going to do a double crochet next door and then we're going to do a front post double crochet right beneath it okay so like i mentioned in the last row your front posts will sometimes cover the stitches so you might have to move them out of the way so next door here you're going to want to do a double crochet and then another double crochet and then a front post double crochet right in front of that one so you're basically carrying up the ribbing here so double crochet double crochet and then front post double crochet just like that okay let's do it one more time double crochet in the next stitch there and then another double crochet next to that one and then a front post double crochet in front of it okay so if I just turn the angles here just to kind of show you okay so I'll do one more with you so double crochet double crochet and then front post double crochet just like that okay continue on going around round three here you're going to want 36 total stitches and i'll see you at the end of round three okay friends so here i am at the end of round three i have 36 total stitches and you should have ended with a front post double crochet at the end here okay so um, to close round three, what we need to do is take the tip of our crochet hook and insert it into the very first stitch of the round. We're going to drop a loop and slip to close just like that. Okay. So to start round four, we're going to chain one and we're going to need 48 stitches going around here. Okay. So we're going to go back into the stitch we just came out of with a double crochet, just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a front post double crochet around one of these regular ones here so this is right above it right next door you're going to do a front post double crochet just like that and then you're going to do a regular double crochet and then you're going to do a front post double crochet just like that so let's do that again so it's going to be a regular double crochet and then a front post double crochet right next door here and then a regular double crochet and then a front post double crochet right around the previous uh, front post double crochet okay so if you notice we're carrying up one of those front post double crochets and then we're creating a new one so this is going to be a regular double crochet this is going to be the front post and then this is going to be a regular crochet and then a front post this is our increase right here okay so let's go ahead and do this double crochet and then a front post double crochet and then a regular double crochet and then this is our increase like i just said we're going to go and do a front post double crochet right in front of that okay so we're going to do that one more time it's going to be a double crochet and then a front post double crochet right next door there and then a regular double crochet and then a front post double crochet right in front of that okay so again, you're going to need 48 stitches for this particular round. This is round four. Go ahead and continue with that pattern 
and I'll meet you here. Rewind me if you have to to get the pattern. Slow me down using the gear button if you have to. Um, but I will meet you at the end of round four right here. Okay, I'll see you in a second. Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round four, where you should have 48 total stitches, and you should have ended on um, a front post double crochet, just like that. If you notice, there's all this beautiful ribbing happening. It's so nice. Okay, so to close off round four, we're going to take the tip of our crochet hook and insert it into the very first stitch of the round. We're going to draw off the loop and slip to close, just like that. We're going to chain one, and then we're going to start round five. Now, round five is going to be a total of 60 stitches, and it will be the last uh, increase round for this project. So we're going to go ahead and do a double crochet right where we just came out of, just like that. And then the next thing we're going to do is a front post double crochet right next door. So we're carrying that up from the previous row there. And then we're going to do a regular double crochet. And then we're going to do another regular double crochet. And then we're going to carry up the front post there. So it's going to be a front post double crochet. And that's the repeat of the round there. So let's do that again. So it's going to be a double crochet, and then a front post double crochet. We're carrying up the front post from the previous round, okay? And then we're going to do a regular double crochet, and then another regular double crochet next door, just like that. And then we're going to carry up this front post here. So we're going to do a front post double crochet right in front of that one. Okay, let's do it again. So it's going to be a regular double crochet, and then it's going to be a front post double crochet, and then it's going to be a regular double crochet, and then a regular double crochet, and then right in front of it, it's going to be a front post double crochet. Okay, so that's what it's looking like so far. We're going to continue this pattern all the way around. I'm going to do it one more time with you here. But we're going to continue all the way around here, and we're going to need 60 total stitches. Okay, so let's do it one more time. It's going to be a double crochet. And then it's going to be a front post. front post double crochet just like that and then okay so like I mentioned previously sometimes the front posts will cover stitches here so don't hesitate to move them out of your way to continue working so we're going to do a regular double crochet next door to that one regular double crochet and then to see this front post here we're going to carry it up so we're not creating any new front post double crochets. We're literally just carrying up the front posts that we see here, okay? But we just need to make sure that we do regular front post, regular, regular front post, okay? One more time. I just wanna make sure you guys get this. So it's double crochet, front post double crochet, and then it's going to be a regular double crochet, regular double crochet, and then front post double crochet. Okay? So continue doing that, and I will meet you at the end of the round, which is right here, for a total of 60 stitches. Okay? I'll see you in a second. Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round five where we have 60 total stitches looks so nice this is what the back side looks like that's the inside of our hat slash beanie okay so to close out round five what we need to do 
is we need to take the tip of our crochet hook and insert it into the first stitch of the round, just like that. Drop a loop and slip to close, just like that. Okay, so now we're gonna start our four stitch repeat here. So just to recap, when we spun the wheel, we wound up with a back post double crochet and then a half double crochet and then a front post double crochet and then a single crochet. So in that order is how we're going to uh, create this. All right, so to start, we're going to chain one and then we're going to do a back post double crochet in every stitch because we're no longer increasing, okay? So we're gonna go around the chain one and the double crochet right here. So we're gonna yarn over, go back and around. This first one is always tough, but once we get past this, it's fine. So we're gonna draw a loop and then bring it forward. See, it's tough here. There we go. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. So that's what that's going to look like, okay? So yarn over, you're gonna come back from the back, front and around, just like this. Yarn over, from the back, go around the stitch, grab a loop, yarn over, go through two, go through two, okay? Back post double crochets. You're gonna need 60 of these, which means every stitch gets a back post double crochet. And you're gonna see this awesome little uh, ridge happening here, this ribbing. So we're gonna yarn over, go around the stitch from the back, and do your double crochet like normal. So continue doing this, and I shall see you at the end of this round. This is round six. Okay, and I shall see you in a second. Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round six, making sure that we did a back post double crochet with every stitch of the round. And then you should have ended right before the one where we had to do the two and one there, which was like the chain and then the stitch, okay? So to close off the round, we need to take the tip of our crochet hook and insert it into the first stitch, drop a loop, slip to close, chain one. The next stitch in our uh, cycle here is a half double crochet. So we're gonna go back into the stitch we just came out of, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, go through all of them. That is your half double crochet and you're going to do a half double crochet for every stitch of this particular round. This is round seven for a total of 60 stitches, half double crochets, and I shall see you at the end of round seven. Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round seven. We had a round of half double crochets and I did a half double crochet in every stitch, and here I am at the end. I just wanted to point something out to you. Um, let me just grab a darning needle here. So see this little stitch right here? Make sure we don't go into that, okay? So when you're closing out the round, like we're going to do here, you're gonna take the tip of your crochet hook and insert it into the actual stitch right here and not that little chain space, okay? Going into that will throw your count off. So you're gonna just insert the tip of your crochet hook into that. Let me just make sure, okay. Yep. Draw a loop and slip to close, just like that, okay? So we're gonna chain one and start round eight. Let me just zoom back out. There we go, okay. So the fourth stitch in our rotation here, or I'm sorry, the third, my apologies, the third stitch in the rotation is a front post double crochet. 
So we are going to uh, go around, let's see here. We're gonna go around the chain one space and the very first half double crochet. And we're gonna join those together for our front post double crochet. So just like that, we're gonna go around the stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, just like that. Let's do that again. Yarn over, go in and around the stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And then once you got the swing of it, it goes pretty quickly here. Just like that. Okay, so continue doing that around the circle here, and I'll, I'll meet you here at the end. This is round eight. We're doing a round of front post double crochets around every stitch from the previous round. Just like that. Continue doing that, and I'll see you at the end, okay? I'll see you in a second. Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round eight. And to close it off, we need to take the tip of our crochet hook and insert it into the first stitch of the round, draw up a loop and slip to close, just like that. And then we're gonna chain one to begin round nine. So round nine is the fourth stitch in the cycle here, and it's calling for a single crochet. So just to spice things up a little bit because regular single crochets can tend to be blah, we're gonna go ahead and insert the single crochet in the back loop. So we're gonna do a single crochet in every stitch of this round, 60 stitches in the back loop, just like this, okay? So continue doing single crochets in the back loop for round nine, and I shall see you at the end of this round. Okay friends, so here we are at the end of round nine. We had a row of single crochets in the back loop, and to close off the round, we need to take the tip of our crochet hook and insert it into the first stitch of the round. We're gonna draw a loop and slip to close, and we're gonna chain one. So we're gonna repeat back to the first stitch in the four stitch cycle, which now is the back post double crochet. So because we're coming off of a single crochet, going around that stitch is literally, I mean, it's possible, but it's very difficult. So I'm going to make a modification here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a back post double around um, the tops of the stitches. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to yarn over and go around the, we're gonna go around this right here, okay? So yarn over, we're gonna go around, we're gonna go through and through. And then we're gonna pull through and do a double crochet, just like that. So we're gonna go through the spots where we actually do our stitches instead of the actual post of the stitch, if that makes any sense. So, we're gonna yarn over, come in and out, just like that. And do a double crochet. Let's do that again. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pull this back out to just show you guys again what I did. Okay. So we're going to close off, close off the round. We're gonna draw up a loop and slip to close. We're gonna chain one. And then, let me pull this out. We're gonna take our crochet hook and we're gonna go, we're gonna go in here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here, just like that, actually, like this. We're gonna do a stitch. And then we're gonna come in here and then come out we're gonna come in here 
and then we're going to wrap around and go there. And then we're going to come in here and wrap around and go out that way. Okay? So now I'm going to do it with the crochet hook. So we're going to yarn over, swing the crochet hook around, come in there, and go like that. Somehow I lost the hook. Let's see. This first stitch is very difficult. There we go. Just like that. Once you get that first one done, you're good. And so you're going to go from the back and through just like that to the next stitch. Let's do it again. Yarn over, come from the back, go into the stitch here, go out like that. Yarn over, go through two, go through two. Yarn over, go in, go out, draw a loop, Come through, yarn over, go through two, go through two. So literally you're you're making sure that you're using every space available here. So yarn over, you're gonna come in here and you're gonna go out there. You're gonna draw a loop and go through. Yarn over, go through two, go through two. Let's do some more. Yarn over, come in from the back, go into the very next stitch, draw a loop, and do a double crochet just like that. And you're not skipping any spaces. Just going back in where you came from, coming back out just like that. If you need to rewind me to go back over the very first one, because this first one is difficult, I'm not going to lie, it is difficult. But could you imagine doing this around the actual stitches? It's even more difficult because you can barely see them. So yarn over, come in from the back, go out the front. Just do that. Okay, so continue doing this, and I shall see you at the end of the round. This is round 10. Okay, I'll see you at the end. Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round 10, and I counted my stitches and we're at 59. So in order to get the 60th one, this is where you should be at 59. So you're going to yarn over, go through right here and go around to that little space just before the round there and that's kind of where you need to be to get your 60 okay so to close off the round what we need to do is take the tip of our crochet hook and insert it into the very first stitch of the round drop a loop slip to close and chain one okay so there we are let me move that out of the way. Okay, so for round 11, um, it's the second stitch of the repeat, which is a half double crochet. We're going to go into the stitch we just came out of, yarn over, go into the stitch, drop a loop, and go through all three. And we're going to do this for every stitch of the round for 60 stitches. This is a quick and easy one, just like this. And I shall see you at the end of round 11. 
half double crochets, 60 stitches. I'll see you there. Just like that. Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round 11, where we had 60 stitches of a half double crochet. We're going to insert the tip of our crochet hook into the first stitch of the round. We're going to draw up a loop and slip to close. We're going to chain one, and we're going to do round 12, which is a front post double crochet. We're going to go ahead and go around the chain one and the actual stitch from the previous row. We're going to yarn over. Go in and around, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, just like that. And we're going to do a front post double crochet for each stitch of the round, just like that. And we're going to need 60 of these for round 12. And I shall see you at the end of round 12. Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round 12. So to close off the round, we're going to take the tip of our crochet hook and insert it into the first stitch of the round, draw up a loop, and slip to close, chain one. So for round 13, um, just like the previous uh, round of repeats here, we're going to go ahead and do a single crochet in the back loop. So to start, we're going to go ahead and do that first back loop there, just like that. Okay. And make sure to get every back loop of the round. It's going to be 60 single crochets in the back loop. Just like that. All right, so go ahead and do that for round 13. 60 single crochets in the back loop, and I will see you at the end of this round, round 13. Okay, so here we are at the end of round 13. And what we want to do to close off the round is to take the tip of our crochet hook and insert it into the first stitch, just like that. Draw up a loop, slip to close just like that. We're going to go ahead and chain one. And now we are going to our final rotation, our final four rows of our stitch story here. We're going to go and do the back post double crochet. So like uh, round 10, um, we're going to, the first stitch here is, is pretty difficult, um, if I'm being honest. But since the stitches are so small, we're going to go in and out of the spaces where we make the stitches. So just to make it easier to explain. So we're going to yarn over. Actually, let me do this. Once we yarn over, we're going to take the tip of our crochet hook and come in here. Okay. And then we are going to go in here there right there okay we're going to do our, our um, back post double and then for the next one we're going to go back into where we just finished and go just like that okay so let's go ahead yarn over take the tip of our crochet hook go in and out, draw a loop, come through, and we have three loops on our hook, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, just like that. If you need to pause me while you get that, go for it, um, or rewind me to see that again, okay? So we're going to yarn over, come in where we just came out of, and then go next door to that stitch. So we're not skipping anything. And in order to get 60 stitches, this is kind of what we need to do here. Okay. Just like that. So continue doing that. 
I shall see you at the end of round 14. You're going to have 60 stitches, 60 back post double crochets. Okay? Go ahead and do that, and I shall see you at the end in a second. Okay, friends, so here I am at the end of round 14. I have 59 stitches. I need 60 to complete the round. Like uh, round 10, um, you're going to yarn over. You're going to come into where you just came out of. And then you're going to insert the tip of your crochet hook right before the beginning of the round. You're going to draw a loop, pull through, and then yarn over, and then yarn over. And that concludes round 14. So to close it off, we're going to take the tip of our crochet hook and insert it into the first stitch of the round. We're going to go ahead and uh, drop a loop and slip to close. Chain one for round 15. It's half double crochets, the quickest round of them all. We're going to yarn over, go into the stitch we just came out of, drop a loop, run over and go through everything. And it's literally going to be half double crochets in every stitch of the round. Okay. So I shall see you at the end of round 15, half double crochets in every stitch of the round, okay? I'll see you in a few, or in a second. Okay, friends, so I just finished uh, round 15, and to close off the round, what we need to do is take the tip of our crochet hook and insert it into the first stitch of the round, just like this. Drop a loop and slip to close, chain one. And so now we're gonna move on to round 16, front post double crochet as we did with round 12 we need to make sure that we grab the chain one and the first half double crochet of the round go around both drop a loop yarn over go through two yarn over go through two and then we're going to do a front post double crochet around every stitch of the round 60 total stitches, just like this. And I shall see you at the end of round 16. Whoops. Just like that. All right, I'll see you at the end of the round. Okay, friends, so I just ended round 16. Uh, where we had 60 of the front post double crochets. Okay, and so we're going to take the tip of our crochet hook and insert it into the first stitch of the round. We're going to draw uh, a loop and slip to close. We're going to chain one and we're going to do round 17. And round 17 is going to be single crochets in the back loop. So we're going to go ahead and go into that very first stitch, drop a loop, Yarn over and go through those to close. So it's going to be a single crochet in the back loop in every stitch. Magic number is 60 stitches. And I shall see you at the end of round 17. Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round 17. So we are officially done with all of the repeats um, for today's project. So now we're gonna work on the brim. Um, so let's go ahead and close off round 17 first. So we're gonna insert the tip of our crochet hook into the very first stitch of the round. Like before in round 13, like I mentioned, skip this little chain one spot. It can easily be mistaken for a stitch. So we wanna make sure that we don't go into that one. We go into this one right here. So we're just gonna go in, drop a loop and slip to close. We're gonna go ahead and chain one. So our brim um, is going to be half double crochets. So we're gonna do one round of half double crochets. Um, we're gonna go through both of the loops like normal, okay? So for round 18, like I said, we're working on the brim now, so there's no more repeats. So half double crochets for round 18. 
and we're going to start by going into the stitch we just came out of just like that and I'll see you at the end of round 18 all half double crochets in every stitch for 60 stitches okay so here we are at the end of round 18 where we did half double crochets in every stitch of the round and this is the final round we're going to go ahead and close off by inserting the tip of our crochet hook in the first stitch we're going to grab a loop and slip to close we're going to chain one so this final round we're going to do is a single crochet but we're going to go ahead and go into the second and third loop so if you're looking at the top of your your stitches here this is the front this is the back so that's the first and that's the second if you tilt it back you'll see another one there that's called the third loop this right here so first second and third okay so to, to finish out our project here we're going to go ahead and take the tip of our crochet hook and insert it right in the top there and coming down and you'll see if, if you point down and out it'll pick up the second and the third loop there so you're just going to drop a loop yarn over and go through both of those loops so let's do that again you're going to take the tip of your crochet hook go into your stitch and out the back and you'll pick up the second and the third loop there so you're going to drop a loop yarn over and go through both of those loops to close so go into your stitch pick up the second and the third loop drop a loop go through both to close so you're going to continue doing that for this entire round it's the final one and if you don't want to do that you don't have to I'm doing it just you know for aesthetic for the design of it all um, you can go through both of the loops like that if you want it'll just be flat instead of having this little ribbing situation going on there so go ahead and take care of that 60 stitches single crochet and I'll see you at the end of the round okay so here I am at the end of round 19 it's the final round and so to finish off the project we're going to take the tip of our crochet hook insert it into the very first stitch of the round drop a loop slip to close and chain two and then you're going to take a pair of scissors you're going to cut a nice little tail here and then you're going to take your crochet hook and just slide it out like that you're going to take your thumb and your first finger and pinch above the chain two and slide down and pull the yarn just like that in the opposite direction and you'll see it creates this double knot that makes it impossible to get out okay so we're going to turn our project so that the inside is facing us we're going to take our darning needle wrap it over the eye of the, the needle and then feed it in and then we're going to do a zigzag technique so we're going to go through the fibers here sorry I'm concentrating <laughs> let's pull then we're going to go back in the opposite direction grabbing fibers along the way and then back again just like that okay and then let's move the needle out of the way let's go ahead and trim that and then let's go inside to the center here Where's the tail? Oh, there we are. So just give that a nice little yank, just like that. And 
Okay. A couple things to note. Because of where the ribbing landed here, it may look like it's flat, but that's okay. It actually rounds out with use. So once you start wearing it and you wear it regularly, it will actually round out, I promise. I've done enough of these to know. Um, see, it has a rounded look to it. Although when you have it open, it has a tendency to look flat. Trust me, that goes away. So that is our project here, and I do have a name for it. Um, you'll probably see it in the title of the video. It's called Collision Course. This is my Collision Course beanie. And the reason why I chose that as its name is because of all the front posts and the back posts going into the stitches in opposite directions. So it's, it's a collision course here. So, I mean, even the inside looks nice. If you flip it around, I mean, I wouldn't wear it like this, but I mean, of course, if you like the, the edging sticking out like that, by all means, go for it. But um, all the stitches run into each other. So even the crown with the front post double crochets, and then you have all the stitches, the front posts, the back posts, the back loops, everything runs into each other and it creates this very nice pattern here. It's super nice. So yes, my friends, this is my collision course beanie. <laughs> I'm going to be making these in other colors, so I will be featuring that um, throughout uh, my journey here on YouTube. This was a lot of fun to make with the exception of round 10 and round 14 with the back post doubles going into the singles. But um, yeah, it turned out really nice. So if you enjoyed this, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I want all the people on my channel, if you haven't noticed by now, I want everyone here. Um, and of course, hit the notification bell to stay updated with everything regarding me and my channel. So that's all I have for you guys today. And until the next one, have a good one, guys. Take care.